know which house is the right one for you. Hey friends, it's Paula Tish, your favorite Huntsville realtor, and today we are talking about how to choose the right home for you. If you love these videos, please like and follow me on my YouTube channel or on the socials, Atlas with Paula. Choosing a home that's right for you is one of the biggest decisions you will make in your life. Here are five things, five things to consider when you're doing that. First of all, one, you have to be pre-approved. I know I harp on this a lot, but you have to know your buying power. You have to be looking in the right price range for what you can actually afford. Number two, start by making a list of your must-haves. Like for example, for me, I must have a guest room. I must have a separate bathroom. I do not want a basement. I wanna live on one level with no stairs. Those are the must-haves for me. What are the must-haves for you? Do you need a fireplace? Do you have to have a gourmet chef's kitchen? Do you need an office? Do you work from home? Do you need two offices? Cause you both work from home. What is it that are the things that are ride or die for you? You have to have them, okay? Then after you've got that list, you have to make a list of what you wanna have. That's gonna be the things that, gosh, it would sure be nice if we had a pool. It would sure be nice if we had a really big laundry room to fold all the clothes. It would sure be nice if we had vaulted ceilings. I don't know what that is for you, but everyone is different, right? But you have to have a list of those things so that you know in your head. Number three, do your homework. Do your research on the area. If schools are important to you, then find out where the best schools are. If being near the dog park is important to you, then find out where the dog park is. If living on a busy street is something you absolutely don't want to have, then let's find the areas that don't have the very busy streets. Things like that. You have to do your homework and some of that requires research and some of it requires discussing with other people, getting advice from your friends and family. And this leads into my next one, number four, trust your agent. Ask your agent questions. They are an expert in their field. Whoever you choose, and you know I have done videos on how to choose, a, choose the right agent. And to be honest, I would love for you to choose me. However, once you've chosen your agent, trust them. Trust them to answer your questions. Trust them to find the area that might fit your needs. Trust them when they have a suggestion that might seem a little outside of your box. Because sometimes your agent has an idea that you haven't even considered that is the best one. So trust your agent and give them a little room to help you find the home where you can love where you live. And lastly, number five, and this is super important, you guys, it's super important in making any of life's big decisions. Trust your gut. How did you feel when you walked in the door? Did you have a sense of peace? Did you have a sense of anxiety? What did you think when you drove up the street? How did it make you feel? It's super important in these types of situations to trust your gut. And truthfully, if you've done all five of these things, then you can trust yourself that you have found the place that's right for you. And at the end of the day, I just want you to love where you live.